Hello and welcome to VIT Today's The Next Step. We have with us Rajat Bhartia. He is a 2020 CSC graduate from VIT Vellore and is currently pursuing his MBA from IIM Vishakhapatnam. Rajat is one amongst those students who have completed their BTEC degree in a due course of three years and he also served as the president of IIIS chapter VIT Vellore. Rajat, welcome to the show. Thank you, Akshay. Thanks for having me. Great. So moving on to my very first question, were you able to utilize maximum opportunities during your stay at VIT? And if you could go back in time, what advice would you give yourself? So I think that one of the reasons that I could get the best in myself would be VIT. Uh, I never realized that I had been preparing for CAT all this while at VIT without actually preparing for it, you know. So one of the most common misconceptions that the students have about the soft skills course really is that it is a waste of time, but really it's not. It's one of the most important courses the VIT offers, if not the most. So now coming, coming to the second part of the question that you asked, uh, if I could go back in time, I would like to give myself one advice that uh, take your preparations very seriously. As you know, you might actually have a shorter time, which I didn't, uh, uh, think that I had at that time. So, you know, I had made up my mind that I would just be giving this year's CAT uh, just as a practice and uh, next year I would study very hard and appear for the exam again. So fortunately I got a decent percentile in the first attempt itself and uh, I got into IM and I didn't have to prepare for one more year then. Great. Uh, my second question is, our curriculum predominantly offers engineering based subjects and less of management. So when did you exactly realize whether well, you should be doing an MBA after engineering and why? So, you know, there was a time in my first year when I had attended this seminar related to startups and entrepreneurship that I was totally intrigued by. And it was still such an extent that I decided to drop out of college and pursue this one idea I had. So I had worked on that idea for quite some time and I had a very positive feeling about it. But you know Indian parents, right? So my, my parents talked me into completing my degree first and doing whatever I want after that. Right. So uh, I stayed uh, and later I realized that, uh, yeah, they were right. I was also, I was no Zuckerberg, right? <laughs> so there was, there was so much that I didn't know about starting my own business. Actually, now that I think of it, I knew nothing about doing my own business. <laughs> So then I decided that uh, I would go about it with uh, an orthodox way by getting into a B school and all and learning about entrepreneurship rather than just uh, jumping into an ocean not over knowing how to swim, right? So also one more thing that uh, indicated my inclination towards the management was my interest in the extracurricular activities like uh, organizing and managing uh, events for uh, Gravitas Rivera chapter clubs and all. So. I had never enjoyed the academics part of the college, to be honest. Obviously, no one does. <laughs> but uh, uh, I enjoyed working for these fests and very much. I used to keep myself engrossed in activities all the time. Uh, there was uh, one time, I think, uh, that was my fifth semester, when I had barely time uh, and any barely any time to sleep because I became the chapter head of my chapter co-organizer of Gravitas organized two international conferences in that period of time, three months. And all had came at the same time. So to be honest, it was the best time of the college for me. And uh, when I was boomed with responsibilities from here and there, and I had to plan every second of my life literally. So this was when I realized that I can be good at management and that I can pursue it. Right. Uh, generally, people tend people tend to look um, overlook you know graduation percentage or your CGPA. Do you think academic history matters to get call uh, you know calls from top IIMs or colleges across the country? I think that uh, academic history plays a major role in your admissions. Merely clearing the CAT is not enough. Actually, the real process starts after that when you are called for the interviews. There are the VAT PI rounds for every IIM during the interview. Apart from your uh, knowledge and confidence, they also look at your overall profile, how it is built. So surely having uh, something standing out in your resume would help a lot and uh, 
that is what attracts the inter, uh, uh, attention of the interviewer also it doesn't mean that uh, you need to score like 95% in your 10th and 12th or else you won't be get selected a decent score like uh, an 85 can get you through it and if you present yourself to the interviewer in a proper manner you can actually go with, through with it great so you joined iim vishakhapatnam which is relatively a new iim so what were the reasons that helped you make the decision of joining it so as i told that uh, i didn't prepare much for my cat so i was actually uh, wasn't totally ready for the interviews so i got for a call from uh, all the iims except uh, four of them and uh, i hadn't applied to any other b schools apart from that as uh, they had their application deadlines before the cat exam and i wasn't sure about uh, get, uh, what was about to come my way so some of the interviews went good and uh, others not that good <laughs> so rem i remember my first interview which i gave i screwed that up very badly and i was a bit because uh, i was a bit of nervous at that time so after the first one i prepared for the upcoming ones and got better as the interviews passed by so a month or two after the interviews i got offer letter from four of the ims Uh, and uh, after doing a bit research i decided that i am ishaka patnam uh, was the best of these options uh, i discovered that even uh, that uh, even though i am ishaka patnam was a relatively new i am it was better than many of the second generation i am in many aspects so uh, though i had an option of i am trichi it came with a specialization in human resources which i wasn't much sure about so i also i didn't want to delay my mba by a year when i was getting such great opportunities right right so uh, i went with i am shagapatnam and uh, today uh, when i look back to it i am happy that i made that choice that sounds great uh next question is the biggest dilemma for any cat aspirant is to select between you know going to a coaching institution to prepare or learn by themselves uh what would you recommend so personally i would recommend self study for cat preparation because that's what i did you see cat uh, is it like the uh, where you need an exhaustive preparation along with coaching and all for cat i think that a set of books by arun sharma is there and along with a mock test series would do just fine and uh, you just need to be regular in your preparation and that's all i was lucky because i had completed all my courses uh, within 3 years and uh, i uh, only had capstone project in seventh semester because of which i got a lot of free time to prepare by myself uh, some students prefer to opt for coaching and that's also a good option you know it all depends on the your style of studying and your preferences in coaching institutes i've heard that they provide a good set of study material and questions which can also help a lot so yeah it all depends on your preferences right what intrigued me the most was you know you completed your btech degree in 3 years so what was that experience like was it planned that you wanted to complete them in just 3 years or you know it would have been intense because completing 180 credits isn't easy also right yeah uh, actually i planned that uh, after i was able to get 27 credits in the second semester which most of my peers were, weren't able to get so then i thought uh, that uh, by taking 27 credits uh, uh, i am uh, like utilizing more most of my time so i decided that uh, why not take that every semester if i could get so ffcs uh, you know ffcs uh, we cannot de de yes. depend on it so uh, <laughs> so uh, fortunately uh, for me ffcs uh, uh, worked in my favor and i could get 27 credits in every semester and that uh, like uh, took a utilize that way i could utilize most of my time so uh, i uh, i planned that uh, uh, from i think third semester itself that if i can i would take 27 credits and uh, try to see <laughs> how it goes nice um so what was the lessons you learned from your cat is exam especially the d day like uh, how was the paper for you and uh, what was the strategy during the exam okay so uh, one of the most important lessons that i learned from my cat exam would be to keep trying 
the moment you stop trying is the moment you start to lose okay the there is no no matter what happens you just keep going on you you should never lose hope don't ever think that uh, you will not be able to do this uh, because uh, you never know uh, you never know what uh, life had, has planned for you in future a year ago i uh, didn't know wh- whether i was going to do a job or mba but it all worked out for the best also cat is uh, not that difficult of an exam as it, it is projected to be by many students it's just like soft skills but with negative masking <laughs> you know, it has all the topics you already well well aware of and engineers have a bit of an edge over in the quad section over the other streams actually the thing that uh, helped the helped me the most was the mock test series that i took i didn't study much but one thing that i did was that i used to give a mock test every week at the same time and uh, day my actual exam was uh, going to take place and I, i did that with full discipline without any distractions right so i thought of it like uh, giving an actual cat exam and i think that was one thing that helped me a lot on the day of the exam because i was mentally prepared for it great uh so scoring good percentile in cat is half the battle you know there lo- there lies a long road ahead in terms of gd pi and vat how did you prepare yourself for those okay so luckily i got a free interview preparation course pack from the site that i had taken my mock test from so i learned a bit about uh, the interviews from the those course packs and for the rest i used to watch i am interview videos on youtube so the videos helped me a lot in preparing for the interviews uh, one of the thing that i used to do for my interview preparations were that i used to take an interview of myself through the front camera of my mobile or laptop right. and i used to record it so then i used to analyze the recordings later and see what i can improve in myself so i prepared for all the answers uh, like some so for some of the basic questions like tell me about yourself strengths and weaknesses why do you want to join an mba that all beforehand and but those questions were not asked in majority of the interviews <laughs> so the uh, i am interviews test your general knowledge a lot because of which uh, i subscribed to a newspaper during that time i was not uh, into reading newspapers much but uh, i did that to prepare for my interviews uh and i uh, that uh, you through that i used to keep myself updated with some latest news also the students already studying at iims they are very helpful and friendly as they share some of the material related to economics and all which can be asked in the interviews and uh, they also share uh, their numbers so that we can contact them if we have any doubts related to the interview yeah um, so th- that's about my interview preparation uh do a follow up to that how was your experience interview experience of i am vishakhapatnam which finally got you in so uh, um, i am vishakhapatnam i uh, honestly i went uh, with no hope i just went with a calm mind uh, and just uh, i thought of it as a talk with the interviewer like we are talking there is no interview so um, uh, luckily the interviewers were also very friendly because of which uh, like uh, i could open up and uh, i was not much nervous during that interview so i could uh, show myself in a very positive manner and uh, uh, reveal to them everything that i had done uh, in a proper manner uh, so that i think worked in my favor and uh, uh, interviewers like that <laughs> so i got selected great um is there anything that mba aspirant can do to enhance their you know cv or profile uh, probably an internship or a skill that you think is essential so yeah uh, the internships and extra curriculars certainly help a lot in your cv if you are an mba aspirant it's like uh, the more the feathers you have in your hat uh, the better it becomes because at the end of the day the thing that the interviewers will focus on the most on is your hat so i think that right. if you are an mba aspirant uh, you should grab every opportunity you get in your way be it uh, as small as volunteering in an ngo 
or as large as becoming an organizing for for Rivera. So you know, uh, you need to have uh, an experience of everything if you are in a small one. As long as you are doing something productive with your time, you know, a manager manager uh, isn't a master of uh, one trait. He is a jack of all. So I would suggest that if you are an MBA aspirant, uh, try to get a diverse set of experiences because as a manager, uh, you will not know what problem is going to hit you next, and uh, uh, you need to be prepared for everything and anything the that uh, management uh, uh, can come up with, and that is management for you. Right. Uh, so, Rajat, we come to the end of the yeah. interview. Is there any kind of message that you would like to deliver to our juniors, probably which you haven't covered uh, during the interview? Uh, yeah, uh, I think most of it is covered. Uh, to my juniors, I would suggest that don't take much of a load. Just enjoy your preparation. Just uh, go with the flow, and uh, uh, it uh, isn't much hard, hard as you think. Uh, once you uh, go with the mock te test series and uh, you start getting a good score you will start enjoying it so uh, i think if you are an mba aspirant uh, that's all you need to know great um, so we come to the end of the interview thank you so much rajat for joining us i had a great time talking